from a public health perspective, uh, it signifies the importance of global collaboration in the fight against this global pandemic. Let me begin, of course, by expressing uh, on behalf of the of public health, of health in general, I leave Minister John Smith to express appreciation on behalf of the government, uh, how much we appreciate this gift of 65,000 doses of the COVID-19 AstraZeneca vaccine from the government and people of Mexico. And uh, we, we are really happy that you're here because this gift is not only valuable, it's timely for all the reasons that our local Jamaican people can appreciate and understand having followed the news over the last few weeks. The gift signifies for us the friendship between both countries. But from a public health perspective, uh, it signifies the importance of global collaboration in the fight against this global pandemic. We fall or we rise together. And I think the bigger message around this scheme today is that if we do not collaborate, we are not going to overcome what is a threat to mankind, no matter where you are in this world. And I think your gift today is a recognition that the government and people of Mexico recognizes that. Uh, I think also, given the time span it took to get this organized and delivered, you also recognize the importance of timeliness in confronting this global crisis. And so I want to place on record how much we appreciate this. And this uh, shipment of 65,000 AstraZeneca vaccine will be used to advance the response that is so necessary for all of us here in Jamaica and I believe for the world. On behalf of the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the most honorable Mr. Gomez, he asked that the message be conveyed to President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. His warmest and most sincere appreciation for this gift of 65,000 AstraZeneca vaccines. I wish to add to that my warm appreciation to Foreign Secretary Ebrard and Deputy Secretary Delgado Peralta. We are beyond appreciative. Whatever we can share, we try to share with our brothers and sisters from countries such as Jamaica, and that's why we're here. I'm very honored to be here and delivering 65 doses of a vaccine. We are doing the best we can to prevent COVID. We are trying to uh, get vaccines for all of our people. We have uh, vaccination programs that we are now uh, at um, we're half of half the way. So we are very optimistic that we will overcome this and. We know that the only way that we can do this is by cooperating with fellow countries, brothers and sisters from all of the Caribbean. We have been challenged in terms of vaccines, as most of the world has been. And so this amount that we have gotten today represents a significant contribution, given that we have administered, since we have started administering vaccines, just about 258,000 doses uh, to date with uh, 84,000 second doses, uh, 173,000 Jamaicans have received a first dose. Uh, you know the science of the AstraZeneca. There is a 12-week period that is ideally recommended for the second dose. And we currently have some uh, 30,000, 25 to 30,000 Jamaicans who within that eight to 12-week period are now due their second dose. And so this, contribution, this gift is going to be uh, very busy this weekend <laughs> into the next few days because the plan is uh, to administer second dose only to those persons who are due their second dose who fall in the 8 to 12 week period or should I say 8 or over and I'm saying this to the local media. This weekend's blitz from Friday to Sunday, possibly Monday, will be for only persons who fall in that eight week or over period because we need to clear up that backlog. Then after that, we'll resume the other. So 
we do have a blitz this weekend, and we would not have had that blitz if you did not touch down at the Northern Mandate International Airport. Can Jamaica expect an other shipment? We do want to because we're creating our own vaccine and once we get our own vaccine then it's going to be much easier for us to produce it and share it with all our fellow countries. What's the whole lot now? time frame look like for that? We hope we get it by the end of this year. So you're waiting on approval? Yes. Yes, it is. From, from, FDA. from our own, from our own uh, we have our own FDA, okay. sort of. Yeah. It's called Covepris. And uh, yes, we are in the, in, the, in the approval process. Once again, Mexico, we thank you. And we look forward to welcoming you back to Jamaica when you can enjoy a bit more of what makes us so special. Thank you, Botanos.